Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about angiosperms and gymnosperms. In major ecosystems, plants form the foundation or base of the system. Plants provide oxygen and energy for many of the other organisms. Plants can be divided into two major categories, angiosperms and gymnosperms. Angiosperms are unique because they produce a seed encased in a fruit. The seed develops in the ovary and the ovary is encased within the plant's flowers. Angiosperms are flowering plants. A typical flower, but not all flowers, has a male portion called the stamen. The stamen contains an anther that produces pollen. The female portion is called the pistil and it contains the ovary. Most flowers have petals that help attract insects that help spread the pollen. Fertilization occurs when pollen falls onto the stigma and a seed's embryo will begin to develop. Some common angiosperms are all plants with fruit light, like apples, oranges, and several grasses like sugarcane and wheat, and all flowering plants. Gymnosperms, on the other hand, are plants that have a naked seed. In other words, it is not enclosed in a protective enclosure. Many gymnosperms have needle-like or scale-like leaves and deep growing roots. Many gymnosperms have their seeds dispersed by the wind. The seed will land and then develop into seedlings and eventually a tree. Some common examples of gymnosperms are pine trees, redwoods, and firs. All coniferous trees are gymnosperms. Coniferous trees are cone-bearing trees. There we go, the difference between angiosperms and gymnosperms. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.